more than 300 young people are gathered in Banjul for one of the continent's biggest youth events, the Pan-African Youth Conference on African Unity and Development. This, according to organizers, will avail participants the opportunity to come up with concrete solutions to Africa's problem. The 2019 theme, The Future Is Now, Youth Are Not Too Young To Lead, is referred to by many as apt and will garner ideas on how young people can make upright decisions for themselves. The Minister of Youth and Sports, Hadrami Sidiwe, said that the Gambia has been at the forefront of continental youth development. We are among the first African countries to establish a national youth council and formulate youth policies. You will also recall that African Youth Charter was adopted in the Gambia in the year 2006, and 10 years later, we also hosted the Banjul Plus 10, commemorating the 10th year anniversary of the Charter. He further highlighted that the history gathering culminates into reasonable steps for youth empowerment in Africa while urging young people to continue the selfless, proactive, and youth-centered approaches to development. The acting executive chairperson of the African Youth Commission, Natalie Sonia Makunden, said this youthful platform provides space and voice for youth and youth organizations to set and drive their own agenda. This annual African Youth Conference on African Unity and Development is a multi-stakeholder youth-led and driven platform that aims at building capacities and strengthening engagement of children and youth in the current policy and decision-making processes. It is part of the Commission's efforts to improve interactions between children, youth-led and youth-serving networks, organizations, which focus on sharing their objective values and challenges. The chairperson of the National Youth Council, Dimbo Kambi, highlighted the achievements registered by the African Youth Commission since its establishment. He, however, challenged young people to critically reflect on the theme of the conference, knowing that it is a strong pronouncement and commitment to achieve. The youth network has been focused, motivated, and committed to the cause of the continent. This includes, among other undertakings, such as provide a space and voice for the youth folk in youth organizations in the continent to map out the path to the promised land and take charge of the destiny of our continent. The representative of the Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum, Rasul O. Amar, renewed his office's commitment to supporting young people. He revealed that his office is also working towards the Africa Youth Solidarity Forum and OIC Summit in the Gambia. Meanwhile, you Report Gambia, a mobile empowerment program that connects young people all over the world to information that will change their lives and influence decisions, was officially launched by the Minister of Youth and Sports, Hadrami Sidibe. UNICEF's representative, Sandra Latouf, explains the importance of the mobile application. It's not a UNICEF platform. It's not a UN platform, it's not the government platform, it's a youth platform. So we have an external uh, steering committee composed by numbers of partners and chaired by the uh, NYC to really talk about their own thematics. They will decide which thematics they want to put. Can be something around water, can be something around election. It's really over to the youth to have their voice. Sarda Sisse is the speaker of the Children National Assembly of the Gambia. I and my parliamentarians, we can work hand in glove. We can go ask those kids about the problems that they are facing, either in their society, the, uh, the country, or in school. They can tell us those problems, and we, the ones using phones, can disseminate that information through the social media. As we know the African continent has been affected by issues of irregular migration, food insecurity, security and education, and these young people will come up with solutions that are very tangible to the Agenda 2063, the Africa we want, and the Sustainable Development Goals of 2030. And these are voices of young people indicating the Africa we want. Reporting for GRTS News, I am Sisi Sawane.